who that to you good to see you in the stream as well welcome to the sports coma uh the hard hit nola saints talk i'm big q your host chiming in with you news flash from yesterday of course wanted to share with the family members the saints picked up another running back ty montgomery who's a guy that's very interesting uh to say the least and and to keep it real with you this is actually uh, a pretty good move by the saints organization to pick up ty montgomery as, as you can see montgomery signed with the saints after a year with the jets and he's a guy that can do a little bit a lot but seeing being that the saints are at their threshold in terms of people uh, that they have signed they've waived mitchell lowen who had they had a defensive lineman these guys had him at tight end and everything so montgomery it's an interesting signing indeed we talked about the fact that the saints could use another multiple diverse back a utility style back if it's as it were this guy's a very tough football player to be honest with you now he is a former wide receiver that they had planned running back green bay was using him in that capacity and he is tough as hell. You can use him at the wide receiver position as a running back. I mean, he's one of those guys that fit the John Bates system pretty good. Now, let's take a look at the story here as broken on NOLA.com by Luke Johnson. The Saints reached the agreement with him, and uh, this is probably a one year deal. The particulars wasn't released, but to make room for him, they cleared Mitchell. Well, knowing he's a Montgomery's coming off a down year in 2019. 193 scrimmage yards in 16 games with the Jets while averaging a uh, career low 4.3 per touch. He did not earn many opportunities to contribute that year. Now, originally, people are accustomed to knowing who this man is because of his time with the Green Bay Packers. Now, he was dra drafted out of Stanford in the third round in 2015 draft, midway through his second season with Green Bay. The Packers shifted him to the backfield largely because they had injuries that were mounting due to the running back situation it just so happens the man thrived in the capacity so i mean very interesting move here now when he was there and he was contributing in a large bulk volume way he averaged almost six yards a carry with green bay he touched the bass for 162 yards two scores on the ground lady scored two rush downs in the divisional playoff game against the cowboys he opened up 27 seats 2017 season as green bay started running back but injuries in his ribs wrists cut his production to eight games and then the packers traded him to the ravens for a seven round pick now most of montgomery's contrib contributions since 2016 have come at the running back but he has not been has not been as effective as a runner as his strong debut when he was averaging full point uh, the last three seasons with the Packers, Ravens, and Jets. 27 years old, he was born in Jackson, Mississippi, so he's coming home. He's coming home. He attended high school in Dallas. In five NFL seasons, he amassed 1,035 rushing yards, 982 yards, receiving with 10 total touchdowns. It's, it's in the Saints, what do they view him as, a running back, receiver, or both? I would say both. Now, remember, the Saints are kind of doing a little back-end work here. They just signed Patrick Omame, uh, and then, of course, they signed – Montgomery and then release Mitchell no low end to clear up spots for this player. Now the thing is, can Montgomery contribute? That's what it basically comes down to. Can he be one of those guys that contribute and help the team out in that capacity? And the way I see it, family, is the fact that he can. He can contribute. He's a veteran guy. He can run. He can catch. And he he's a he's a perfect type of player that if you know all the Saints that you want to bring into your offense because he gives you a guy that can catch it out the backfield, a guy you can then line up at wide receiver. He's also a pretty damn good blocker too. Very tough football player, but is he a threat to guys like Dwayne Washington or Jones Jr., the guy that just uh, brought in from Notre Dame or the rest of these guys? And his, his veteran prowess of what he did when he was in Green Bay, he is quite the weapon. Very interesting late agent signing Montgomery represents for the Saints but once again it fits the norm for the Saints offense a guy that can do multiple things multiple things and is is he an impact player will he make it can he top out a guy like Dwayne Washington time will tell time will definitely tell but a very interesting sign and nevertheless for the Saints to bring in Todd Montgomery very interesting See, perhaps there are more signings on the way we'll keep an eye on uh, out for that as well so I'm advising you guys to subscribe if you ever heard of Sports Coma, 100% true and diehard NOLA Sport Talk. Join the great Saints Tank Tank 
via Facebook. Subscribe, like, and share the show. Thank you for joining us. On today's show Saturday, we'll have Bob Rose as a special guest from Sports Illustrated talking Saints draft free agency and, and taking calls as well. So who that to you? Peace and see you later. Perfect.